Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, the program. This is uh, Tuesday, the 9th of April. Let's get our uh, business hours started here live on Channels Television, Nigeria's news leader. I am Bosin Amafaya. Welcome our viewers here in Nigeria and around the world. The World Bank delivered a very brutal uh, assessment of uh, Sub-Saharan African economies. 41 countries in total. A new report released by the Bretton Woods Institutions on Monday shows that the economy has been flagged and, of course, flagging what you call the projections, uh, the growth domestic product for SSA revised downward from 3.3% previous to 2.8%. According to the report, Nigeria's economy is slipping, according to the World Bank, among other 18 sub-Saharan Africa countries having recorded declined performance between 1995 and 2018. If you read the details of that report, you said the criteria used by the World Bank to describe an economy that is, quote, and unquote, that's slipping, quote, and unquote, that is slippery, that is where trying to move forward but sliding backwards. So that's the headline story this morning. Nigeria is listed among the bottom performing economy, uh, economies, which include South Africa and Angola. The World Bank uh, says Nigeria, South Africa, and Angola are pulling back uh, sub-Saharan Africa's economic growth. The three of them uh, accounts for about 60% uh, of uh, total GDP of the sub-region and uh, all commodity exporters. Nigeria and Angola are largely in the crude oil business and, of course, South Africa in mining resources. The World Bank report, however, uh, comes just a few days after the IMF released its Article 4 report late last week uh, in which the uh, Bretton Woods Institution asked Nigeria to carry out major economic restructure, restructuring and other reforms on policies and tax and revenue and expenditure, among other things, including monetary policies as well. But let's move on to what the president, uh, President Mohamed Buhari, told his audience yesterday in Dubai at the Investment Summit. Mr. President says... Uh, he spoke very glowingly about Nigeria's mobile phone penetration, the information communication technology hubs, and the digital sector in general. Mr. President uh, says today Nigeria has close to 90 te technology hubs, and every day new ones are coming up, and they're all developing solutions for Nigeria and indeed global problems. The president went on to say that already uh, these young entrepreneurs uh, have attracted investments of about 100 million US dollars, a sizable amount of that from overseas, including the Silicon Valley in the United States. And one very small piece of news this morning, but again, you need to find it out, is the EFCC, the Anti Graft Agency, says it has arrested eight individuals or eight persons who are involved in train ticket racketeering in the Abuja Kaduna. Route. That's according to the EFCC. These eight individuals, the EFCC says, it conducted a sting operations, and these eight individuals were arrested because they were inflating ticket prices at the train stations and duping Nigerians. According to the agency, uh, some staff at the train stations are uh, in bed with the racketeers to defraud passengers by selling tickets at higher prices. Uh, station manager, the chief marketing officer, and the chief parcel booking officer at the train stations are also uh, at Kaduna Railway Station are being also been invited for questioning to find out if they have any connection with this cartel of individuals racketeering on train tickets. So that's the ticket. We need to go to the stock market. A very nasty Monday to start another uh, business and trading week on, on Broad Street. Temple Ashaji is on Custom Street as always in our studios at the Stock Exchange. Temple, good morning. Uh, let's uh, take this Right away, we started with a very a bit, a bit of a gentle uptick. Then, as we get to lunchtime, the market went haywire. Then it started cooling off a little bit uh, before we finished off. We saw close to 2.8 percent intraday. Then we finished off about 1.6, 1.7 uh, 1 percent, still in the negative territory. Uh, this is your market. Talk to us. Good morning, Bosin. Yesterday we were down some 1.53% in terms of the equities market. Uh, we saw the all share index of 29,162.24. The equity capitalization settled at a new low of 10.95 uh, trillion naira after we lost some 170.58 billion naira. 
uh, from the equity capitalization. Of course, months to date and year to date settled at some 6.05 uh, and 7.22% uh, respectively. And we saw a huge rise in the activity level yesterday in the market. Uh, if you look at the volume of transaction, which settled at 444.69 million, uh, that was up by some 14%. And of course, the value of transaction at 5 billion Naira yesterday was up some 51% on its own as well. Of course, the new week takes off. Uh, I mean, on a negative note, again, because we saw a uh, decline in the prices of a lot of blue chip stocks, uh, blue chip stocks yesterday in the market, we saw this sell pressure uh, continuing in the market. A lot of analysts are saying that uh, with the way things are going right now, we will be uh, below the 30,000 psychological line uh, for longer time compared to what we've seen, uh, uh, a kind of fluctuation since 2017 through to 2019 in the All Share Index, just uh, two days uh, below the psychological line, and then you see the market rising back up again. But with the th way things are going, we're likely to fall lower today to some 30, 28 thousand psychological lines. So that's the kind of sentiment we're saying. But yesterday, basically, we saw some 13 gainers and, of course, 30 losers in the market. Uh, 61 other securities, of course, remained unchanged. The mutual benefits was the top gainer, rising by some 10% yesterday. And, of course, Fitzing experienced the uh, highest losses in terms of share price uh, yesterday. In terms of top trades, uh, Sterling Bank declined by some 0.38%, and of course it had some 93 million uh, units of shares valued at some 242 million Naira yesterday in the market. So if you take this further to the sectoral uh, front, you're going to see that uh, the banking segment declined the most yesterday by some 251 business points. You had Union Bank, Stambi Kai to c uh, UBA, Guarantee Trust Bank, basically all the tier one names uh, yesterday, uh, basically really, really falling yesterday. Led by, if you take a look at what even happened at GT Bank, yesterday. GT Bank specifically had over 2 billion Naira worth of transactions yesterday, accounting for about 51% of the entire to, uh, turnover that we saw in the market yesterday. Uh, today we expect GT Bank also to be paying out some 2 Naira for the five Kobo uh, in dividends to a lot of its uh, investors and that means that there's going to be a price markdown today going forward because yesterday this particular company GT Bank was really on offer in the market and of course we saw uh, the fact that it's now doing some uh, decline of 1.3 point uh, 1.3% uh, year to date, uh, given the fact that we've seen a lot of um, uh, investors uh, exited the position on this particular company. But if you take a look at what also happened at the consumer goods segment of the market yesterday, Honeywell Flour was down 5%. Uh, Guinness PLC and Flour Mill, all of these two companies also contributed massively to the 0.35% uh, loss that we saw in consumer goods segment of the market. The industrial goods segment of the market was down uh, on account of the huge loss that we saw on uh, Dangode Cement, which is down yesterday by 185 business points. Uh, for the insurance segment of the market, mutual benefit gained some 10%. ICO, uh, which was on bid yesterday at 65 Kobo, uh, made some recovery of some 1.56%. And Lasako PLC also contributed to the gains that we saw in the insurance goods segment of the market. For the oil and gas, we saw Etana PLC and O and O making some good moves. And of course, this will lead us to the energy segment of the market, uh, where uh, Oando basically rose yesterday some 1.01%. A lot of investors continue to remain bullish on this particular company, given some strategies that is playing out in that particular segment of the market. Uh, for Forte Oil, yesterday was down 1.64%. We got 11 PLC also down by some 0.59%. And of course, MRS remained unchanged. Surplus was unchanged yesterday, given in spite of all of the uh, notices about its report and the AGM which will be holding uh, uh, on the 16th or thereabouts of this month. Uh, so Eternal PLC was down 6.25%, uh, was up rather to 6.25%. Uh, yesterday I was watching the numbers, saw it in there at, uh, earlier at some 4 Naira. But I, yesterday, uh, mid, mid, during the mid, midday trading, we saw it rising for that and of course it regained some 6.25% after some uh, 8.2 million units of its shares was basically traded yesterday. On the... Uh, on listed securities segment of the market, we saw trade zones just four of the companies that are tradable there. Uh, of course, there are 38 companies that are tradable on that particular segment of the market. We saw trades in on four of them. We saw 13 deals. We saw the unlisted securities index actually losing some 0.99%, but of course, you know, you have to actually approximate this to 1%. And that's closed at 725.94 points with a market capitalization that's closed lower at 521 billion Naira. A uh, huge volume of transaction there yesterday, valued at some uh, 22.75 million Naira. For the debt side of the market, it was a mixed trading day. Everything was quite quiet in a way, but we saw 
uh, kind of zigzag movement across board. Let's start with bonds. Positive trading day it was for the bond segment of the market yesterday. Uh, for the 14th of March 2024 security, which is a benchmark, a five-year benchmark security. You saw it's down yesterday uh, by some three basis points to 14.41%. It, it is a security that offers an interest rate of 14.2%. But ditto for uh, what you have across the April 2023 and, of course, uh, March 2025, all of that, which is even flat yesterday. But basically, on the bond side of things, there was 38 deals yesterday. And Treasury bill side of the market uh, saw a bit of a mixed trading day. We saw the yields uh, slightly moving higher by some 52 basis points, Bosun. Okay, Tempo, thank you so much. Let's check in where we you later on the program.